So like that. So therefore, today I can say Tibet, I think, uh, kept the fully the Buddha Dharma, Buddha's teaching. Vinaya, uh, and then these, uh, what's the philosophical sort of teachings or views. So uh, now already number of, I, I think millions of Chinese Buddhists, they showing interest about, you see, uh, Tibetan Buddhist tradition, which we kept over a thousand years from Nalanda tradition. So we can, uh, we can serve them, we can help them, or provided the uh, material development, the Chinese should help us. Therefore, we are not seeking separation. We are not seeking independence. The 7th century, 8th century, 9th century, Chinese emperor, Tibetan emperor, Mongol emperor, three country, independent. Now that's vast. I always admire the spirit of European Union, mm -hmm. independent state, but they consider common interest is more important than individual sovereignty. So I also feel we Tibet in, in many centuries ago, independent country. But now modern time, we are 21st, 20th century, 21st century, much better uh, part of Tunghua Rimin Kung Ho Ko. And work together with mutual respect. Traditionally, China is Buddhist country. A lot of Buddhist temples there. In 1954, 55, I spent a few months in China proper. So I noticed many Buddhist temples. Mm -hmm. So uh, remain within the Union and Chinese economically now very powerful. So uh, let them build, construct Tibet materially. And meantime, we can serve the Chinese people general and particularly the uh, Buddhist, uh, Chinese Buddhist, we can. And then certainly overseas Chinese. Many overseas, wherever overseas Chinese there, some Buddhist temple always there. And then Taiwan, uh, Buddhism very strong. 